Welcome back to the Too Fast channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a custom project I just finished for a customer. This is a auto dimming rear view mirror with a integrated backup screen that was specifically designed to fit a 911, uh, 993 model. So um, this customer sent me his existing uh, rear view mirror bracket and wiring harness to integrate into this new mirror. So uh, this wiring right here is a factory 911, 993 wiring harness. Um, there is a connector that goes on the end of this. I have it removed for testing purposes. Uh, easy enough to remove these uh, Molex style connectors. Uh, they come right off, but it will be reinstalled before I send it out. I've added um, a additional uh, wiring loom here with a Molex connector on the end. This is for the video signal input from the backup camera. Uh, I actually used a small Molex connector to connect the RCA cable and that is because the customer the customer requested a lower profile RCA cable I guess to route this um, into the headliner area there's limited space and this is too big so I added this quick connect quick disconnect right here to allow him to um, get this wiring routed and then plug this in. So the existing uh, 911 auto dimming rear view mirror is much thinner than this. Um, it's a, a very early design, um, late 90s, uh, early 2000 mirror design that was used in several different models, not just the 911. So um, this bracket uh, was a bit of a challenge to get mounted on this particular mirror. This mirror is much thicker because of the two-way glass, the uh, integrated electronics, and the display screen. So the thickness of this mirror is, is definitely uh, larger. But I've uh, got it working. We've got uh, good articulation with our, uh, with our bracket. And all the wiring, uh, although it was tight, all the wiring did fit in the factory uh, Porsche 911 uh, bracket. Um, so there's actually five wires routed through there. Um, there are no other functions on this mirror. There is no home link. There is no compass. There is a integrated uh, backup display screen right here, which I will show um, in the next segment as when I get this powered up so you can see what the display looks like. So I just wanted to talk briefly uh, about this conversion and give you a look at um, what can be done. Now I've used this exact same mirror for newer 911s and for boxers. Um, because Porsche is a VAG product, uh, you know, Volkswagen, Volkswagen America Group, or Volkswagen Automotive Group, excuse me, um, you see common parts between Volkswagen and Audi and Porsche. Now this bracket uh, design um, is actually used on Audis as well um, because I've used an Audi bracket to uh, make a Porsche 911 mirror conversion. So the mounting mechanisms uh, are the same. Um, the Audi bracket will snap right on to the glass um, mount that's on a Porsche. The only difference is the wiring harness is a little bit different. But in this particular case, this one actually came off of a 993-911. So that's um, that's about all I have to talk about uh, on this. So let me, uh, let me get this powered up and get a camera connected and we'll take a look at the display. Okay, I've got the uh, lights dimmed a bit so we can uh, take a look at the display. And I've got a uh, camera connected to the mirror. So the uh, main connections on the, on the 911 is switch 12 volt ground and a reverse lockout 
Now the reverse lockout is so when you put your vehicle in reverse, it actually locks out the auto dimming function of the mirror. So those three um, wires are retained and the functionality is retained and transferred over to this mirror. So the switch 12 volt will power the mirror, which in turn powers the auto dimming and of course the ground. And the reverse lockout serves two functions. It will lock out the auto dimming function and it will also engage the backup display that's integrated inside of the mirror. So right now um, the mirror is powered up and it would uh, um, be in normal operation mode. And if I connect the reverse lockout wire, it will um, lock out the auto dimming and turn on the internal display. And you can see I've got a little camera over here that's just kind of pointed in an Amazon box just so you kind of can see what's going on here but I've got most of the lights turned off so that's basically how that functions and when you shift out of reverse the auto dimming lockout goes off and the display goes off so that's about all there is to this particular conversion um, had some specific requests for this build and it turned out great like always. Now this um, particular OEM mirror is made by the same company that makes the OEM mirrors for Porsche. So this isn't um, an, an uh, overseas made product. This is an OEM product that's been modified and retrofitted to uh, fit the uh, Porsche 911. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this quick tabletop review and demonstration of the auto dimming mirror with backup display capability, which has been retrofitted to fit uh, uh, a 911.